Hello children, welcome to Standard 6 Geography Lesson 1 Representation of Geographical Features In this lesson we are going to learn maps, different types of maps, scale, directions and symbols. Now let us see the lesson what is geography. It is a science that deals with the description, distribution and interaction of the diverse physical biological, cultural features and effects of human activity on the earth's surface. Globes, sketches, maps and pictures can be used to represent the features of the earth. Geography is a science that deals with the description, distribution and interaction of the diverse physical, biological, cultural features and effects of human activity on the surface of the earth. The features which are representing the earth are globes, sketches, maps and pictures. Let's see the first feature, globe. A globe is an object representing the spherical shape of the earth or of the celestial sphere with a map of the world printed on its surface. It is usually fixed to a stand so that it can be rotated on its axis. It shows three-dimensional aspect of the earth, it is very easy to see and understand the imaginary lines of latitudes and longitudes on the globe. It represents the relative shapes and sizes of oceans, continents, countries, distance between land masses and relief features. There are some disadvantages also as it shows only a part of the earth at a time. It is inconvenient to carry a globe and to study the topographic details of an area or a country. The first feature is a globe. An object representing the spherical shape of the earth or of the celestial sphere with a map of the world printed on its surface is called a globe. It is usually fixed to a stand so that it can be rotated on its axis. A globe shows three-dimensional aspect of the earth. It is very easy to see and understand the latitudes and longitudes on the globe. A globe represents the relative shapes and sizes of oceans, continents, countries, distance between land masses and relief features. There are some disadvantages with the globes. Number one, it shows only a part of the earth at a time. Number two, it is a very incon it is very inconvenient to carry a globe. Number three, it is inconvenient to study the topographic details of an area or a country. Now let's see the second feature, map. A map is a flat diagrammatic representation of an area of the earth. It gives information about the earth's surface in a simple graphical manner. It is easy to carry as it can be rolled, folded or stored easily. There are many types of maps providing different types of information by using symbols. A collection of different types of maps bound together in the form of a book is called an atlas. A map is a flat diagrammatic representation of an area of the earth. It gives information about the earth's surface in a simple graphical manner. It is easy to carry as it can be rolled, folded or stored easily. Maps are of different types that provide different types of information by using symbols. Atlas is a book of maps. It is a collection of different types of maps bound together in the form of a book. Children, let us continue the remaining part of the lesson in next video.